Hey, hey, what's up? Jarrell here. I'm going to uh, review The Matrix 4. All right. Now, it was, uh, you know, for, for one thing that I will say about this is that the very first Matrix um, was a masterpiece in every aspect of the word. The philosophy, the action, the story-driven process, the everything about it, um, you know, high black intellectualism, you know, thanks to Lawrence Fishburne's incredible gravitas portrayal of, of Morpheus. You, you know what I'm saying? Like there was just so much from the move, the first movie, so much content and so much quality, you know, that, uh, it's really hard to talk <laughs> about, uh, about this movie, you know, about uh, The Matrix 4, Matrix Resurrections. I just, you know, it, it really confused me at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it confused me. Um, there were things about it, like, that felt like it was a mockery of the original picture. Like, turning it into a video game, you know, that, that apparently Thomas Anderson creates. And, and just using shrinks, it just felt, it felt poor in story and, and it, and it was lackluster. I mean, you know, no kind of guns, but then in the first movie you have guns, lots of guns. I, I, I'm not understanding it. it. It just felt, it felt like a, a cheap, uh, Star Wars type of deal without the lightsaber. It's like they had Neo out there force pushing everything and barely using any martial arts. I mean, where in the hell was the martial arts? I, I don't know. I, I don't mean to be a complainer, but you know, and, and, and I was, I was pretty excited about, um, Jessica Henwick's, um, turn in the matrix. I, I, I felt like this was going to be a launching factor. The trailer had me so indulged in it when they were actually using, uh, uh, time. What is time? Like, you know, it's actually nine o'clock when you think it's one o'clock kind of vibes. Like I, I was hoping that they were going to delve into, um, certain philosophies of the matrix a little bit more. So, Oh, it disappointed Ooh, it disappointed. I, um, I, I definitely feel, um, robbed. It was like only one time that I watched it and felt like it was just a major mockery of the first movie. And what's sad is that it's, it's from the, one of the original directors of the Wachowskis that created this movie. It's like, man, I, I'm tired of, uh, of complaining about s such things. I mean, one thing that I know is that it's not my vision to full blown complain about it because at the end of the day, you know how people get where they're like, Oh, well, if it isn't Wesley Snipes, that's playing blade, I don't want to see it. You know, that was me <laughs> a couple years ago, but then as a filmmaker, you know, I can't complain about it because if it's my vision, I can choose who I want when I want and, and how I want to see the picture, you know, so can't do too much of that, but I still feel great importance of a movie being quality, you know, um, the very first matrix had the philosophy, correct. It was, it was mind blowing. It was, uh, the technology was outstanding. It was, it was the next step in sci-fi movies, grounded sci-fi. And uh, like I said at the beginning of this, Lawrence Fishburne uh, playing Morpheus was just untouchable, untouchable. It was, you know, black intellectual frequency that just, just, it just surpassed race in a sense. I, you know, the fact that I'm saying black intellectual is something else, but it surpasses it. It, it made, it, it, it resonated with me. The first Matrix resonated with me. The Animatrix resonated with me because the story structure was righteous. Um, as far as the Matrix 4, excuse me, as far as the Matrix 4 is concerned, um, no, it's a no for me. I, 
that's that's all I can really say about that. But anyway, that was my short five minutes for y'all. You know, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, hit it at the bottom. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on The Matrix 4. You know, indulge me, man. I want to hear your thoughts on what you, what you saw. I mean, you know, uh, uh, Trinity um, and, uh, and Neo, uh, love story seemed like it was going to have a more impactful kind of taste to it. You know, versus the first one. The first one had purpose. It had a reason behind it. This one felt kind of frivolous and didn't know where it was going and what direction it was taking us. It felt kind of like a drugged out idea of what the Matrix could be under some, you know, highly <laughs> influential drugs. But anyway, yeah, get at me. Let me know what you guys think. I want to hear your your thoughts about it. We can rap about this, man. I could rap about this with you in the comments. It don't matter. And we made it to six minutes, but it don't matter. Let's go. But anyway, it was Jarrell, uh, you know, out here with Relish Pictures. Peace. Out. All right.